Hello everybody, welcome back to the Legend of Bumbo. How are we all doing? I'm doing pretty okay. And as soon as I said that, I remember that I have to play as Bumbo the Lost. So I could be doing better. But other than that, I'm doing okay. It's Friday when I'm recording this. It's 11.30 at night and I don't have an episode for Saturday. So I'm recording this now. Um... Okay. Let's try to pull off something like... Oh, I messed up. I'm an idiot. I, I could have gone up and... Yeah. Ignore me. Or maybe it does make a difference. I don't know. I'm, I'm tired, and this is my first game in like three days, so... It might take me a minute to readjust, but it, I, things are starting to come back to me. I mean, it's not like I haven't played this in a while. It's just been just long enough for me to, like, need a minute or two to readjust. It's like that for most games I play. I need, like, a little refresher. And plus, it doesn't help that I've been really busy with school and work, online classes, um, streams. I've been playing... Pokemon X, I've been doing a hardcore Nuzlocke of that, and I fought the Elite Four today and lost, so I that's something I kind of have to redo. Okay, thank you. I could go one, two, well, I need four, so let's just do this. Boom. 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 Okay. Um. Let's. I don't see the point of boogering up, guys. So let's just start throwing. I'm hoping to get maybe two episodes done today because I have plans on Sunday, and I plan on streaming most of the day. Tomorrow. So. It's going to make things a bit difficult for me to get episodes out, but I'll, I'll manage. I can always record near the end of the day, which I said I play worse when I'm tired. But to be fair, even though it's like 11.30 at night, I'm not exactly tired. Oh yeah, and by the way, I should say, I, I just said that I plan on sh streaming all day tomorrow, which is today, and odds are if you're watching this as soon as it comes out, I'll probably be like an hour or two away from starting stream, so if you're interested in watching me stream, I'll be on Twitch, twitch.tv slash lan underscore d underscore ow, it's like my name on YouTube, but with underscores inside of dashes. Um, it's in my about section on my YouTube. I'll put it in the description if I remember, but knowing me, I probably won't remember. Um, let's, I just want to buy myself some time. I'm going to get hit, hit here, but that's fine. But yeah, um, I plan on playing Call of, Call of Duty Zombies. That's one of the games I play on Twitch a lot. Ooh, okay, one there. And I, I think I've, or I don't think, I know I will be playing Cold War Zombies. I'll be going for around 100. I am recently, so like, I, I, I've been doing this like se series for a while called Road to Round 100, where I try to get on to Round 100 on maps. But I recently decided I'm gonna start over and I actually have like this cool little spreadsheet to keep track of my progress. So, Tainted Shy Gal, okay, again, I saw Tainted and the purple and my heart just dropped. I think I'll be okay here. But yeah, I'm... Dang it. The worst part is I have like a really good move here that I can't do right now. Okay, good. I could... Mm. 
Nah, that's a bad idea. That's a dumb idea. Shouldn't have done that. Let's just reroll the board. Is this... No, this isn't better. Ah, I mean, it's kind of better. By kind of better, I mean... No, it's not better. Um... Oh, I'm getting hit. I think I just die here. What do I do? Yeah, I just die. Because he attacks me. Yeah. That was dumb. Okay, that's fine. It's first run. There's, that's my warm-up run. But yeah, as I was saying, I decided to start over my Road to Round 100 series. And I have a, like a Google Sheets sheet, keeping track of all my progress. And my goal is to get Round 100 on every Zombies map where it's physically possible to get to Round 100 on Solo. And by physically possible, I mean realistically possible. And I hope to get all that done by the time the next COD Zombies game comes out, which will be 2024. Which sounds like a long time, but some of these games take a while. But, yeah, I'm... So when I say realistically possible, there are some maps where it's possible to get to round 100, but not probable. Like, for example, um, let's say Town in Black Ops 2. Everyone knows what Town is. Um, although it is technically possible to get to round 100, people have done it before, but it involves extreme, like, speedrunning the entire time, and it takes, like, 70 hours, which is something I don't have. And if you don't beat it in 70 hours, or I, I don't know if it's exactly 70, but it's a while. And if you don't beat it in the right amount of time, your game resets. It's like, it's, it's hard to explain for people who don't know or understand, but that's just how zombies always worked. So, it's like Nuketown, Town, all of the transit survival maps, like Busty Po, Farm, Town, those three, Nuketown, Call of the Dead from Black Ops 1 is technically possible to do in... It, it's possible, but only with two players. And that still takes like 80 hours or something. And that's not something I have time for. Um, And then I think the last one that's impossible is Grossen House from World War II. To be honest, I don't know if it's just impossible or just no one has ever done it without cheating. A, a lot of it's like no one's ever accomplished this without cheating. And if no one's accomplished it, I doubt I'm going to be the first one. But yeah, I tried a few. I haven't beaten any, mostly because I recently started this and because I'm not that good. Um, I tried Dur Isendra from Black Ops 3. And I died multiple times because I suck at high rounding Dryzendra. Then I tried Alpha Omega from Black Ops 4. And I failed that because I just... I did that on a Sunday. And I just got, like, really sick during the stream. Not, like, throw-up sick, but, like, I lost all energy sick. Like... Like, not that I'm... I was tired, but, like, an extreme tiredness. And I was essentially... I took the next day out, and I essentially was out of commission for a little bit. And by next day out, I mean the next day of streaming off. I know, when I get in my head, I sort of not make it make sense. But, yeah. So, t tomorrow, or for you guys, today's round 100 stream is going to be my first ever two-player round 100 and it's going I it's not set in stone but I'm almost positive it's going to be Mowered or Toen from Cold War um I'm going to be playing with my friend Corbin if you've been a part of the channel for a while you probably know who he is um 
he's going to be playing with me. He's never done around 100 before. He actually started playing zombies fairly recently, but honestly, I can see improvement from him. We play we played Outbreak once in a while, me and him, and he's actually at the point where he's starting to hold his own, so I'm thinking if I help him and, like, make sure to give him all the right information he needs, he could actually carry his own weight during this high round. Okay. Okay, uh, probably not my best choice. Um, I'll just start with this. Might as well do that. Fizzy fizzy. Oh, okay. You piece. That's fine. Because we got one and a two and a three. And we're good. On. I have a glass of water and I put it on my desk and I forgot about it in the Condensation is building up. Put in my cup holder. Okay. Duke's not bad. I just kind of want to save my charge attacks. Um. Okay. One. Two. Penetrate. Hit all enemies. Three. And poop. That's good. Th this will kill him, but just in case it doesn't. I don't. I can't remember. Yeah, he doesn't swamp flies. We're good. Yeah, we're good. Thank you. Okay. Easy boss. Easy kill. Um, Free bone throw or mate. Ooh. A free bone throw might be good, though. Especially if I can boost the my puzzle damage. I think having a guaranteed... Normally, I like going for movement. But having a guaranteed bone throw at the start of every room is really good. Um, spell hurt more for you, and the spin the wheel once. I believe I can make the money back. I just need movement. That's great. I was hoping for um puzzle damage, but I am not going to complain about movement at all. I don't even need that much puzzle damage at this point in the game, but. Probably starting next. Oh, you don't get to choose who. Okay. It shouldn't really matter that much. Well, unless it's like a, fl a bomb fly and it hurts me. But still, it's free bone throw. Okay, they're not attacking, which is good. One, two, three, and a four. Okay. So first of all, let's do this. It does not matter, because we're all going to die. Perfect. I a bit afraid that the gas clouds would attack, but nah. Blinding attack could be really good. Let's always... Always more ways to deal damage is good. Um, let's try to break all of their shields first, and then we can go for the hits all enemies.
four, four, and the turn. That's fine. Let's hit all the enemies. Good. Let's hit all the enemies. I don't want to use my penetrate attack right now. And then I have essentially one. I just need to get like an attack ready. I'm not going for anything special. I'm just gonna buy myself time. So now we just move up, hit both, we're good. Oh my gosh. Booger, get out of here. You're good. You're good. I thought I misclicked, that scared me. But it didn't matter because I might penetrate, so we're good. Just like that, that's what I'm worried about. If like I get like a really bad spawn. And then this should take everyone out, but at the same time, I want to cover my butt and make sure I don't... Make sure this doesn't hurt me. It, it'd be nice to test. Okay, so doing that will affect the gas clouds. It's really good to know. I was about to fish for another turn, but it's right up there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, mega battery. Shy out, perfect. I could take this out right here, right now. Oh, yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're good. Penetrate you. So we have. One, two, three. I'm thinking this through. Put it up there. Okay. So yeah, we won. Oh, he lived on one? I have a feeling it's a mill guy, but I don't know for sure. Oh, it's not the middle guy. And we're good. And pop. Perfect. Okay. Getting really good luck here. Glitch. What will it be? I'm actually... I've never done this before, but I'm actually looking this up. Bumbo... Trinkets. Because I want to win this. This is a very, very, very winnable run. Glitch. What will it be? I think it just popped up. Okay. Transforms into a random other trinket at the start of each room. That could be good, but I don't want to take my chances. I'm I'm taking death. Death could be really good for like a an emergency situation. Spell cost. Nope. Spell hurt more. Have to do the penetrate. And I'll spin the wheel one more time, and then after this, I'm done. Movement. That's fine. Okay. I'm cutting myself off. I have five movement. Five movement is fine. 
sucks that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I might be sure I'm 45 cents, but if that means I win, then I'm fine with that, I guess. One, two, Oh, that was dumb of me. I forgot. It's not. It's not one damage. I just up, upgraded it. Okay, might as well get both of them into killing range. That's not fun. Can you get us a ghost? I'll pop the bubble. Let's do this. Okay. Then this. Nice. Just keep this guy busy for a while. Now we... Okay. Does that. Oh wow, I didn't even see that wild there. Okay, well that works out. Boom, we're good. Okay. Please be a good item, good spell. Little Rock could be good, but I I'm not gonna use this. I'll tell you that right now, I'm not gonna use it. Oh you piece. That's fine though. Don't be dumb. Puzzles, I mean, just puzzles. Oh, I, I didn't even have to use my um, movement spell. Perfect, okay. I am dominating. Oh, that's... Not exactly how I would define dominating. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. this. I'm not gonna hit all enemies here. I'll do this. I'm hoping that guy isn't in the middle is close enough to me to deal damage. Although I don't think he is. Okay. Do that. Oh, now he's too close. Oh, no. I'm gonna need more than this. This is the guy that like deals too, too damage, too, like two poops worth of damage when he dies. The 
but regardless, oh no. I can't kill him, because he's going to attack. Oh, they... This is bad. Oh no. You're really going to do this to me? I don't know what to do. There's no more poop left. I'm pissed. This is my only hope. That this counts as an attack. Or no. No, I just got the hope that they miss. Miss. Miss! They both missed! Okay. 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 So not enough poop. Any time. There's still no poo. Oh, there's there's not enough for two. Did I mess up somehow? Or hold on, there is enough. One, two, I gain three movement. I go one, two, you on you. Three. Two. Fifty fifty. Blinding attack. Can I blind you? He's blinded. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I blocked him. I don't think this is through.
You're killing me. Come on, I need more luck here. Give me luck. Give me luck. I'll miss. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. No. Blind them. No way I survive another turn. No, that was so close. Ugh, that was the winning run too. That one hurts. I did, I, I got obscenely lucky there. Probably could have done something better, something different, but, oh, I messed up. <laughs> Oops. Um, why don't I just restart that game? But honestly, I think the fact that the game kept on, the wheel kept on giving me movement instead of um, puzzle or spell damage really did screw me over. Because I'm starting to learn that you can have all the movement in the world, but if the, but if the game physically won't let you deal damage to the enemies, what's the point? Honestly, this is dumb. Don't try to go for anything fancy. Let's do this. Play on a treat. Okay, dude, my heart is still racing for my last run. Yeah, my heart is already like abnormally fast, but it's even faster. Oh, screw this room. Then they, they're gonna hit me. Guess we'll do this. That works. board again. Okay. Very slightly better, but also not good enough. Okay. 
yeah, I don't think there's any, like, feasible way I can get out of here alive unless I... did this. And then, uh, even that doesn't help. Again, yeah, I'm going to restart. I don't understand how. I don't know how to win sometimes. You just gotta get really, really lucky right off the bat. And if you don't, too bad. And that's really what I don't like about Bumba. That's like my number one gripe with the game as a whole. It's that a lot of the time, especially in like the late-ish game, like the late game in terms of getting all the unlocks, skill doesn't matter in a lot of times. Like, yeah, obviously, like, skill you, you, you need to be skillful at, skillful at the game to succeed but a lot of the times you can be the most skilled player in the world and it won't matter like it's all up like a lot of this game is rng like trying to beat the game as bumbo the loss is one of the most rng type things I've seen in a video game. Like... Um... Hold on, let me drink. Booger and Knockback. Like, yeah, I am just like, Booger and Knockback is good, but... Is that gonna... Help me win when all three of those pooters in the back are going to charge up at the same time and hit and hit me at the same time. So I need to take out one more of them and the poop's going to attack. Like, how is this fair? Like, who looked at this game saw the condition it was in in the bouncing and were and was like yeah yeah that's good that's that's pretty okay i'm fine with this 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 can be shipped like right here i i there was nothing i could have done to prevent that death and it and it keeps doing it it keeps doing it i don't know what else i need to do except for like restart until i get a good first room and then hope that I get good items before the boss and hope that the boss doesn't end up being Bumbo or doesn't end up being friggin' Tainted Peeper. It's all random and that's what I hate about games when skill doesn't matter. When skill doesn't matter in a video game, especially a puzzle game like this. Or, or not even in a puzzle game, but like, just games in general. When skill doesn't matter, and it's up to RNG, whether you win or lose, that's, where, that's what I hate. Like, RNG in video games isn't terrible, but the RNG that's like, Hey, you've done everything you possibly could to succeed, but we're not going to let you win, because why not? That's the kind of RNG I hate. That's good. Okay. Just like that. Uh, 
Ugh. Then we get enemies like these that no matter what, like these green guys as well as the pooters are enemies that will attack on on the third turn no matter what. So this first turn they get pro or not even on the third turn they get they attack after the second turn before the third turn so i do this they get primed then i try to do whatever i can and just sometimes it's just not enough Like, right here, I'm trying to be kind of smart. I'm doing this. I also see, like, a bone that I could do. But I... Okay, so I'm getting hit here, regardless. Which is fine. Take you out, I guess. Sorry about that, my mom just came and say hi. She just got home. It's midnight. Um, okay. Boom. And... I'm gonna get... Oh, he's... No, he's not... Okay. So, so what these guys do is that they'll attack, and then they'll stand there, they'll get primed and attack, then they'll stand there, then they'll mana drain, and then they'll stand and attack. And then they'll flip back and forth between attacking and draining your mana. Like, the hard... I feel like this would be a lot easier if you could choose where or which specific enemy you want to attack. Obviously, you can't, like, attack enemies that are, like, behind you. Like, that... Like, that would be a bit too far. But I'm talking about, like, if there's two enemies in the same, like, area, but one is above and one's under, I should be able to attack, to choose to throw my attack at the one above or the one under. I feel like that would add a bit more skill. So if there was a fly above the sky... Normally, my attack would just default to the the fly. But I feel like if I could be like, hey, the guy underneath here is a bigger threat, I should throw it under the fly. Okay. Good. Close one movement. The Duke. Okay. Um, boom. Got hit her with the one, two, three combo. Maybe not like win win, but at least get 
some more stuff in. It's three. Movement. Let's go this. Okay, yeah. Okay. I have three moves. One, two, three. So we got one, two, three. Perfect. Part of me was worried that wouldn't kill, but we're fine. We're A-OK. -okay. Hoof. Let's go hoof. Um... Just do one here. Thank you. All I wanted. That's all I wanted last run. And if I would have gotten that last run, it would have been good. Ugh. Okay. What we got here? Um. This might be a. Beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be a complete place, but or not even a complete place, but eh, I mean, they could build up something good. Honestly, I could take out another one of those guys, but I don't want to risk him because he'll just attack right off the bat. So do the movement. Okay. One, two, three. Just gotta let this turn on good. Oh, we're good. Good. Um, okay, so even if this doesn't kill one of the primed enemies, I can put the poop in front of it. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the um, puzzle attacks work with the mega um, thing. The seven I don't know what it's called Booger Lane. Um I hate this already. Who didn't you? Just kill you. Not gonna attack me immediately. Okay, let's do this. And let's not attack the guy on the left. I might just be able to tank his attack. I'm gonna have to tank his attack. Wait, he attacks too! I didn't see him primed. I didn't see him primed. Let's go one more. Let's go one more. I know I could probably split this into two episodes, but I, I want to. I want to win. I want to win so bad. Okay. I don't care anymore, just just finish it, please. Thank you. Uh, booger knockback. go here. It might be a smarter idea to do the mill, but like where the poops are, but yeah. What if I did this and then one 
then two. Let me move there. And then I do this. There with the one, two, and then hold on. Yep. Right here. Let's do this. Then they'll probably both move towards the middle. So if that's the case, I might as well. Yep, exactly what I thought. And we're good. Ugh. Um, I think my first priority should be dealing damage to this guy, but not killing him entirely. Good. The reason I don't want to kill him entirely is because he, he was in the position to attack, so by not killing him, I can get rid of his first form, and then he won't attack me, whereas if I were to deal two damage before, he would still be in the same area, but he would still be primed with more HP. I hope that makes sense. Let's do... Oh, I don't know. Let's try this. Yeah, I could booger knock back you. Let's hit her with the one and two. And three. But what are you? Country you and I could I ah, know I'm good. I'll save the knockback for later. Why did I put that there? What am I thinking? Okay, let's go with the booger and knock back. I don't know, I'm tired. I think we gotta uh, wrap this episode up. Okay, let's do this. You. And then we can just take you out. And worst case scenario, I can bugger you. Um, there's that. Good, good there. Now he wants an attack. But I'll save it. No, I won't. Good. Bugger Ocean him. I will. I was like, I should have ended the episode by now. I was like, I doubt people are gonna watch. Or, I doubt people. Oh, what? It gets rid of the boogers? That's dumb. Okay. This is a long room. We're not. We're, we can't go that any further because of the rock. But we're finally done with this room. Jeez, that took an eternity. I'll get like one coin out of it. I got. Oh yeah, three. 
Reroll puzzle board charges random usable. I, uh, but that's a lot. I don't want to deal with a lot. Beeper. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Get, see ya.